All right, this is ammo game two. Uh, it's still bugged again. Uh, I guess Jojo's just bugged, so um, I have to <coughs> handle it this way. Last game was just stomp for Zamo. Uh, so we'll see what happens in game two. Monkey King. What is your draft? So it's awfully nice, Stalker again with four Hoodwink. Like Snazzy's the troll. So Monkey is mid, it looks like, and trolls the carry. Um, this peel was, I saw it picked second, so, uh, okay, if you're the carry, never do this. Um, you're gonna lose a bunch of HP, and then you're gonna have to waste your TP. Um, just, just don't walk into this rune if you have no information. Uh, this is just a pretty shitty spot to be in, especially with salves not being a thing anymore. Uh, so we're screwing up the Treads Battle Fury with a Wraith Band against Tiny Offlane? Bloodseeker Offlane? Um, mid, we got a monkey against a wind ranger. This should be pretty wind ranger favored. Oh, like a hundred percent wind ranger favored. Nice securing of a creep there. And down bottom. So this should be a decent lane for the hoodwing night stalker. Well, lich can be pretty aggressive, so it really depends on how aggressive the PL lich combo decides to be. Like if they play it pretty aggressive. I think this will actually be pretty tough. Uh, if this peel's on it, you can like dodge, just doppel dodge, like bushwax and stuff. Um, first blood happened. Grim died to Tiny, who has level 1 toss. Level 1 toss is a little weird. I guess, it's, I guess it worked out, whatever he did. That voice line is hilarious. I saw that and I was like, that's almost worth $20 by itself. <laughs> Apparently it was a mercy. Uh, so mid's going pretty even. Monkey's actually not suffering. When I said it, when it's good for Wind Ranger, like Monkey should still be able to get farm here. Um, Sergeant Pepper could probably be like looking to harass a little bit more. Like I don't think you should be afraid. Can I like click on him? If I just click on it, it doesn't change the perspective. I can click on this monkey, but then it doesn't show me what he's skilled, but then if I click it up here, then it switches fog. It's fun. I think this orb of venom was kind of a mistake, because it's just not necessary, because you're just never, like, autoing this wind ranger more than she's going to let you anyways, and the orb of venom just doesn't help or hurt. Um, so it's just a waste of gold. Like, it better just be, like, a circlet or something. Um, kill's happening bottom... Honestly, I think support trades favor the Night Soccer lane, because that should be a little bit weaker. This Night Soccer sort of blight sound, which I think is weird. I do like that he's got a wand, and I do like that he's got a mangoes, though. Like, resetting your mana like this is super important. Like, if you want to be aggressive in lane, you need to be able to sustain. If you have to buy two mangoes to do it, so be it, you know? Um, if it makes this PL's life hard, fucking go for it. Setting yourself back 120 gold so that you can like fuck with their carry more is usually like a good trade assuming it works out obviously
see, tiny. It's got the boots. I like the wand on uh, Bloodseeker. Let's see who has wands. Lich, no stick. Um, I think you should get a stick. He doesn't need one now if he wanted to rush boots because he doesn't want to like die or something. I think that's reasonable. Uh, but I think he should go back for a stick at some point. Bloodseeker has a wand. Tiny's got a stick. I like it. PL's got a wand. I like it. Wind Ranger does not need a stick against Monkey. Um, of all the rules you can skip stick, I think mid is the most co is like the most common that you skip it because you're just getting a bunch of regen from bottle. So unless you're like against like a hero that's like always spamming spells, you don't really need it as mid quite as much. You know, you can skip it on people skip it on Puck, people skip it on Zeus. Like just because you need mana doesn't mean you need a stick just because you're getting your mana from bottle mostly. Um, so yeah, no stick on monkey. Grim has a stick. We're just doing the stick check. Troll no stick, this is a mistake. Um, he needs to play it out. If he needed to get boots, that's fine. Um, to like be able to kite out the Bloodseeker W. I mean, it's reasonable, but he needs a stick ASAP. Um, if he buys stick like next, I think it's good. If he doesn't, and he's sitting at no mana, uh, like I don't think any other item makes sense here. Like, what is buying your Band of Elves gonna do? You're gonna have no mana. Uh, just buy a stick, dude. Uh, Night Stalker has a wand, and Hoodwing has a wand. So the stick check is good. Good job on getting sticks, people, for the most part. So Wind Ranger's got the javelins. I think it's pretty good timing. Monkey got a rune. Okay, just looking to farm a little bit. This is not too bad, though, because he's, like, off map. So, like, the other team has to be afraid. Um, so even though he's, like, missing, like, these creeps here... He's gonna be here to clean it up anyways, and then the other team has to like be afraid right now. Um, if they have any sort of map awareness and if Mid Ranger's calling missing. Technically if Wind Ranger doesn't call missing and the other team has a map awareness, then they're not afraid at all. I don't think Lich is flying out a stick, so get good dude. I can't even check his courier, so I guess we'll never know. Oh you know what this actually could be used. Oh no, I can't even click on What's happening up here? Troll, no mana. He he's not buying any gold. Ooh, if he had like ran back to that toss and I did him under towers, it'd actually be a kill. He's actually gonna kill him anyways. If he had a stick, he wouldn't die here. Just FYI, you would have died. You would have not died there with a stick. Um, Tiny and let's uh, see, like casting a lot of spells. So Lich goes top. I'm not sure what this Lich was seeing, but this PL is about to be real sad. Where's Hoodwink? Oh, okay, so Hoodwink's top. So I guess it doesn't matter quite as much. I didn't realize that. So in the 1v1, um, it's 1v1 at night time, so if this nice soccer plays is right, this PL should uh, be in a hard spot. Okay, you're... Okay, he's going back to get the creeps to the tower. That's good. I was like, you can't actually just let these creeps, like, die at the tower. I know you want to pressure the carry, but it's not worth missing creeps over. So you missed one creep. I like I like how we got these ones outside the towering, so that's good. Um, well, <laughs> Troll did finish his wand after he died, so at least he realized his... Realized he needed it now. Um, I was gonna say maybe he doesn't buy a stick at all, and he proved me wrong by not needing to fly out regen because he just died. He got full regen that way, you know. Joke's on me. So both fives have a headdress. Or no, this is Rue from last game. So let's have a headdress. Yeah, both fives have a headdress. So that's the uh, Crusader meta right now. I guess is buying a headdress to pause five. <clears throat> I don't think it's bad. I'm not sure it's good, but I haven't watched any like pro support Dota in the new patch, so maybe it's what people are doing. I don't actually know. So Monkey is really taking the CS away. Wait, how did PL end up mid? So PL decided he just didn't want to be bottom solo against his Night Stalker. I can't say I blame him, but if you have raindrops, you can like kind of just farm and then go to like jungle although you are really vulnerable to dying if your support's like never coming back so i guess i don't hate it Ooh, nice Ooh, don't turn around though we should still run away oh the power shot plus the frost blast yeah i can't turn around there might have died anyways turning around and hit the tiny again was a little nuts though oh am i strong can i do this and then you can't do this i like that nice artist pressuring the tower it's good to see I like it, I like it. Um, I wonder if this guy got a shard last. I didn't actually check. Nice DP, nice DP, nice DP. 
Don't think we needed to wait because Lich has Sinister Gaze. If we had just waited a second longer, Lich would have been there in time. It's a nice DP. <coughs> I wonder if he's going to go. So last time he went Echo Saber, which I think is reasonable. So I don't know if he's going to do that again. He went Echo Saber and they hadn't got Shard yet and he Q Blink. So I don't know if he ever got the Shard or if he got it after or what. Um, so I think he's going to make it away. It's very nice. But Wind Ranger gets a regen rune, which is the dream is mid. You gonna use this to farm or what, dude? Um, yeah, so when you have a regen like this, you just go jungle. Because you can like power shot like four times or something. And you can like use your other spells to like drag it out longer while you wait for the power shot cooldown. But you should let your tiny farm this so you can like farm his blink. Um, you should just farm the jungle. That's what I think you should do. Like tiny could have taken that farm and you didn't. You had the option of jungling because you had a region room going. It's like that little like efficiency, you know, like that, that would have just given Tiny like an extra like 100, 200 gold to his next item that like he has a hard time getting normally. Versus the gold that you got from it, you could have gotten anywhere. Um, so PL's jungling in his own safe lane. He did, really doesn't want to go up to the troll. He's pretty far behind right now. Like it's 11 minutes, he's only got 50 CS, that's pretty bad. Um, like at 10 minutes. In a 10 minutes in a good PL game, you want to be like 90 CS. In a meh PL game, you want to be like 65-70. So nice Arthur's TPing top. What's going on top? I'm not sure if I have to click to find out. So Tiny died. Wind Ranger's here though. Oh, that's funny. So they canceled the TP and then Night Stalker just decided to kill the Lich. The troll got away after being shackled. Nice TP out. So that just ends up being pretty bad for the Radiant. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Whoa, Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. But now they get to pressure this top tower, because is Troll gonna come back is the question. I feel like his troll, he doesn't have his ult. I feel like I would like him to farm his way back to that tower and just be there and be like a hard presence to like boot out of this lane. Although Hoodman can also kind of serve as that as long as he doesn't get caught here. Like he, if he gets caught or ruptured and dies, it's not like not super great. But if you play like super evasively in the trees and like keep his tower alive by just like peeling the creep wave off the tower and not dying, it's like super high impact. What's going on mid? Um, and so Muggy, let's go to the net worth. Muggy and Night Stalker are doing pretty well. But Radiant's in it, and Trolls, Trolls, Trolls in it too. The carries are like kind of tied at the bottom. The offlane and the mid are doing a little bit better. It's like life as a carry these days, it feels like. It's pretty hard to like just win your lane. And it's daytime, so Night Stalker's just happy farming. He's got a Vanguard. Interesting. You know, this is a weird... Seems like a weird item, but against like a PL and a Wind Ranger, where most of their damage is gonna be like right clicks, I kinda like it. Um, the only problem is this does not increase your farm at all. So like, how are you going to farm? Like, you're not gonna be easy to kill, but how are you gonna farm? Um, so maybe like 15 minute shard, just to like play it as like a Midas kind of? That's my only question, because this guy has got really good net worth now. But like watch in like five minutes you know he's gonna be like down here now him and troll are gonna like switch places right trolls gonna be towards the top he's gonna be towards the bottom and like is he gonna recover or is he gonna be like useless with no farm he'll be tanky but like if he does no damage let's see this is a nice attempt here Knights are gonna pop the ults that was a nice run back from pl there Okay, so now he finally pops the goals. He's kind of holding it. That's cool. Nice. That was a nice play. Um, PL is too far up farming mid lane. I didn't really see how it got there. If I was looking at his like replay review, I'd be like, let's back up and like see why you were here farming this mid wave. Because that's the mistake wasn't like the death. It was like why was he there in the first place? So let's go with Atos. Um, I guess this is how you play Onflame Bloodseeker. I just don't know if this is good. I see the idea though, it's really good against Troll and Night Stalker as heroes, so... Oh, that's too bad. He like lands his W. 
So Peel's defusal and he showed up to fight. I don't mind that Peel came back. Okay, so they cleaned up the Night Stalker. That's an important kill. He's like a very high net worth hero. This Tiny just got a bunch of gold. Um, so we got mana boots. I think that's a little weird. I think normally you just go like brown boots straight into blink. Um, like wand raindrops like helps you keep your mana up and then you like have a clarity or two and then you kind of like just make enough plays without having the mana boots. Mana boots is like I am constantly casting my spells and I don't like manage my mana that well to me. Like most position four pro tiny players but, like or immortal tiny players do not buy these mana boots. Um, so PL's got a Manta queued up. I don't think Manta really helps him against anything on the other team. Doesn't, like, I would say, I mean, SNY or casual Yasha into, like, a heart or something is good. It's a pretty hard PL game, though. That's what you get for picking it second, you know? Like, PL is not, like, amazingly strong right now, so, um, if you're, like, rushing it, like, what? Or not rushing it, but first picking it, I mean. It's, like, you're kind of setting yourself up to be, like, countered, you know? Because here does particularly well card. And here he's just being way too aggressive. Oh my goodness, is he gonna die for this? Yes, he is. Very nice sharpshooter from the hoodwink there. Yeah, if you're PL, like you can show up to a fight, but you cannot be like the first one in like that. Ooh, the huh? The what? Um, so this PL is continuing to not do so hot, but at the same time the troll's also not doing so hot, so. Um, it's looking at like a 18 minute battle for you right now. Granted, he does have space, but I don't like that he's like down here at this tower because the other team might just show up with like five euros and like kill him. Like I'd be very scared if I was him, nobody's showing on the map of me and the other team and you know which is behind that tower. Granted, PL was dead, but like I'd still be very scared of like a Bloodseeker Wind Ranger just showing up and killing me. Um, I'm like, I feel super scared from this camp right now. Just gonna walk it off. Oh no, don't walk back towards the tower, bro. Like, look, we just don't see anybody on their team. Like, we see you're pushing mid. Like, PL's probably up here. Okay, so they are going to Night Stalker instead. They're going to get this kill, but... Yeah, this isn't going to help because... Unless he has TP? Oh, he has a TP. Wow. Nice ult into TP. That was a heads-up play. Like, just to get on that cliff up there. Very well played. Wow, a turnaround response. This Zao team is playing like pretty good right now. I have to say. And they crushed game one with that mid punch, so. Okay, so Lich has Tranquil's Raindrop. Not a lot of items. This guy's going Halberd. Halberd's a decent item. It's like the anti troll build. Um. You know, I don't play a lot of offline Bloodseeker, so I'm not sure if it's like good or not. Is this what your team needs? Maybe? Not sure. It'll be good against a Monkey King as well, I guess. Um, Tiny's got a slow blink because he went mana boots. PL's like way behind in farm now. He had a pretty early defusal and then tied twice, so it's like, what are you going to do? So Wind Ranger's got to... It's gotta be the carry of this game. So he's doing this like disassemble your maelstrom silliness into like using the mithril hammer for BKB. I mean you need a BKB this game, I guess. I just don't think this Wind Ranger build is like I don't know. I don't see people doing this much at all. I don't see people clicking like mid Wind Ranger and it like working that effectively. God is BKB at a good timing though. It's like, what are you gonna do with it? What are you gonna do with it, dude? It's kind of weird that Radiant's down here with like four heroes right now. I don't really understand what's going on. Like, is it not? Like, we go for a play, maybe, but like now you're all just down here and your mid's getting hit. And you're like, wait, what's happening? Like, why is our mid getting hit and nobody's there? And it's just like three heroes bottom. Uh, so not Atosing for some reason. Like it's a little weird. Like, why would you W? Like not Atos. It's like 5 head, right? Because you're like, uh, you, ru you rupture them and then you Atos them. Nice fight, though. Um, 
Do kill the Night Stalker. Ooh, the Windrear doesn't get away, so now it's looking pretty bad. Do they finish off the Bloodseeker, who's now moving very fast? Okay, so Peel shows up to clean up a little bit. It's a very spread out fight, which I think favors the, um... Well, both of these teams actually kind of like spread out fights. Like, Bloodseeker likes running around, like, Monkey King likes bouncing around. PL likes to not be focused. Uh, Wind Ranger likes chasing down targets. So both teams kind of like, and Night Stalker likes focusing on targets. So both teams like like these spread out fights, which is why I think it kind of went pretty even there. Oh, appeal dies here at the end. Troll is looking pretty strong. He showed up late, which is good for him. I like the monkey's build as well. None of this like, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I was about to say there. Monkey's build is good though. This is, this is what you want to do as mid monkey. You just get a freaking. Uh, oh, and they found the. What is this camera? I don't know if this is camera movement or not. I can't even tell. Okay, the Blitzinger's actually just dodging everything to get away. Oh, the Echo Saber second hit comes out just in time. Well, that was a lot of effort for that kill, but. It's not like Reading was getting anything off in the meantime, they're still like all dead and coming back. So this is where the Night Stalker Grimstroke has just become so oppressive. You're like, how do we fight into this, guys? What does this Night Stalker have, by the way? What's he going? He went to Shard. What a genius. You look at this. He ate a creep. He ate a creep. That's why he didn't die. This guy's itemization on Night Stalker is so much better. Maybe he watched my recap and took it to heart. I did kind of like explain those items for doing anything last time. He's got wand and shard. This guy's a baller now. I take back anything I ever said about Boosh. Yules? Um. On Hoodwink? I guess it's kind of okay against like Bloodseeker combo. Like if that's what you're worried about like getting caught and dying to, it's like kind of good. Um. I don't hate the Yules actually. Something like Glimmer could be good as well, but I see why you don't get it. And Grim just rushes the shard and says, I'm gonna like ink for my Night Stalker, and like you can't do anything about it. Yeah, I really like this the way this Night Stalker's building. Like he's not fought, he's, see, he's now behind in net worth. It took longer than five minutes, but he's now like behind the other cores in net worth, but he's gonna be able to keep farming because of his shard. Um, also, this Vanguard, like I said before, I, I do actually like that item. That's pretty sick. Specifically against like the PL Gun Ranger like type lineup. Um, kind of good against Bloodseeker too. Like does lots of like right clicks for decent damage, but blocking all this damage is super sick. And puts him at, like eighteen hundred HP. Something you could have considered just going treads um, instead of face boots. A lot of people have been going treads. This hero really likes attack speed. Phase boots are good for chasing, but kind of run really fast anyways. Ooh, they catch monkey, but troll is roaching with a DD unnoticed. So who won here? Uh-oh. He's gonna die and lose Aegis though. Alright, this is actually not working at all. Big throws from the dire. I'm really watching how they got set up, but this is the comeback now. Alright, so what do you do here as Radiant? It's really important. You've got... you kill them all. Your lanes are decent, so you don't immediately need to run into like a lane. I would like somebody to run top though. I don't think all five heroes need to hit this mid tower. Usually it's like the most mobile hero on your team will like go run top, like Windranger or Bloodseeker. Um, like pressuring this tier 2 does not make any sense. Like you're not strong enough to actually like take this tower, I don't think. I mean, I guess if they're just gonna like feed? This is like a very uncoordinated way to like do this. It almost worked anyways. Like they almost killed that Bloodseeker. Okay, so Dire like could have defended that, but they just need to do it in a little more coordinated of a way. Um... Well, okay, so that worked out. But at the end of the day, okay, so you got those two extra kills, right? 
you killed the monkey and you killed the hoodwink but like what did you get out of it like you didn't increase your map pressure at all you got some damage on a tier two but like who cares um, honestly like who cares about the damage So now you're spread out to farm your lanes now. So let's see what Radiant is gonna or Dire's gonna do. Like are they gonna look to like group up? Smoke? It's night time. Does Grim not have a smoke? Grim has a smoke. They're just together in the triangle. High fiving, I guess. Um So now you have no vision, but you had seen that they were all spread out, so like you shouldn't be like I don't know, I feel like you should be looking for like some kind of play here, and Grim's just like kind of not doing anything. Grim needs to be like, heads up following the Night Stalker around instead of like, whatever he's doing, sitting mid. Uh, Grim, dude, what are you doing? Rue, you're the, you're the Grim, I'm so sad. So Rue, what you do here is you follow your Night Stalker around. Like, that's why you bought this shard, right? You just follow him around. Like you had a TP up so like, you could have been where he was and then like TP back just like he's doing. Um. He didn't find anybody, but like if you find somebody and you're not there, like it's just less effective, you know. Let's go deep push. Okay, so Ruit's found. Monkey's not going in. Who do we control aren't here? So they're like kind of maybe maybe this is like communicated, like hey, we're not actually defending this and like troll split pushing. I'm not sure what the call was here. If that was a call, I think it's reasonable. Like, and if Grim dies, Grim dies. Okay, so now they've split up. Oh, missing the stun hurts. Okay, he's got another doppel, and now this gets real tough. Yeah, and this monkey ult does nothing. Because he's just illusions. If they caught that PL and like killed him, that would have been good. But without the um, connecting on the monkey stun, which weren't quite fast enough, they didn't have the ink swell to like amp up that play. It's an interesting attempt. I liked kind of the split pushing this going on and like forcing the Radiant back. So Radiant smoked. Um, they're not crazy. Okay, so PL walking in first. I don't know if this is how it works, but I guess they just don't have a lot left on the die right now. Like, you don't have nice soccer ults. This troll's not going. Oh, wait, no. I'm not the right. The troll is going BKB. Just doesn't have it yet. And that was a super good literal. Okay, so Troll just needs his BKB. He's fighting 600 gold off BKB, which is just not smart. Like, if you're Troll there, you didn't want to be farming here, you know? They got no vision. You just wanted to make your way to, like, a side lane far away from where you know the enemy is. Like, if you just, like, f ran a triangle and farmed it and then farmed his way, like, into the bottom part of the map. It's just not at that fight. And somebody dies there, but it's not you, and then you finish your BKB. Um, what is Monkey going? Also BKB? He's got a BKB, and he's going Basher. I don't know if I like the Basher. Um, I don't think your problem is, like, holding people in place. Like, you're missing Wind Ranger anyways. The PL, you're, like, very rarely hitting the real one. Um, I like what he's doing here, though. Like, cutting the creeps is good. The Bloodseeker, I mean, maybe you're hitting, and, like, the sports, but, like... I don't know. I think, uh, I think I would not go Basher here. Oh, almost gets his tree cut, but he doesn't. I might go here if I was this monkey. I think, like, either Mjolnir or, like, oh, that's interesting. So they put a ward down, so this is, like, danger zone for the monkey. Oh, man, they, like, see you. Did they see you? They didn't cut the tree. I think they put the ward up. That's how they had seen him. The question mark. It's so BM. Uh, but in the meantime, he's making space for his team. So that's like really, that's why you do that on Monkey, right? Like either they don't chase you and you keep top cut forever and then they can't push top. Or they like chase you and it creates a bunch of space for your team. Like this troll, it's got BKB now. So that's why you do that on Monkey. It's super important. Uh, but yeah. Before I get a nice Monkey... I think you gotta kind of tank up. I think you gotta go like Scotty. Or like, I guess if he goes straight Abyssal and like gets this Vanguard, um, that would even work. 
kind of the same thought process of the Night Stalker happened to Vanguard. So Night Stalker went blink and now has a morbid mask. I think what? Dyer's top tower is under attack. I'm not sure who he needs to blink on. Like I guess just to go on the lich. It's reasonable. I think you need a BKB dude. I don't know if this you don't need this morbid mask. You have all the sustain you need with your shard. Um this morbid mask does nothing for you. Maybe you're going plads. And they're like Wraith Factor or something, but like you need a BKB dude. You can't knock out BKB against like Wind Ranger Shackle, Tiny Combo, Diffusal, like Atos, Lich stuff. Like you just need a BKB. It's just not even optional. Oh, the fact that he doesn't have a BKB, he's just gonna be. Um, I predict he's just gonna like die in fights. People are getting very strong with their spells, and like if you don't have a BKB to like offset that, like you're just gonna be. Um, did so hoodwing splitting bottom now i feel like monkey could go split again and just like make sure you don't sit under this ward they had right but like, you do the same thing like here right and then like they have to like kind of do the same thing and like just force them to waste that time because uh, now you're like farming near your carry and you're not cutting okay so he's going to be only i think this is a decent option i'm just worried he's gonna die like he dies super quick I guess if he gets his BKB off, he shouldn't die too fast. It's just go kind of going all in on the damage, which I guess could be worse. So they just had to take this fight. So nice soccer, no BKB. Look what happens. He got a creep, but he's gonna die. Oh my god, he's gonna not gonna die. I always say he's gonna die, and it doesn't. So if he had a BKB there, he would have been 100% fine. Um, hopefully he sees that. If he watches his back, if you just have a BKB there, you're fine. Um, but they did get the Bloodseeker, so... Oh, so I want to get out. Trolls all keeping out. Okay, this is a nice call. Just get out. Um, ended up going support offlaner for support offlaner. And you made an aggressive play while you're behind, so it's not too bad. And PL is getting pretty farmed, but technically you've got answers to him, so... You know? Okay, so he finishes Mjolnir and Riku's Basher. I guess we'll see. Maybe you'll prove me wrong with the Basher, but I think like Scotty just to tank up, or even like a Butterfly, right? Like something to like not take more damage from this like PL of Wind Ranger. Evasion or more HP, I, I would like. I mean, Ag sort of. Um, I don't know if Ag's is that great on Monkey King anymore. Like people buy it, but I don't know how good it is. Troll's going Basher as well. I think Troll Basher is fine, right? Because, like, you do have a hard time, like, sticking on top of people and, like, you're hitting fast enough to, like, be bashing them. So this is a nice setup play that they're going for here. They're exactly what you do on Monkey King. This Tiny is going to use his combo. Nice tr slow from Troll. So they don't have the BKB on Troll, and they're actually just ready on... Uh-oh. Oh, next. Nope. The evasion's too strong. So that was a cool attempt. Um, they didn't have the BKB up and they were just ready for that. So I guess the map wasn't quite set up enough for, for that play. It like looked cool. Um, so then Xamos starts farming directly towards where the enemy was last seen when they possibly could be running straight at you looking for more kills. It's a little sus. Um, okay, they split up. But yeah, again, it would be nice if somebody was like pushing out the waves more like this guy on hoodwink is doing a good job and notice he has a bunch of farm because of this like he's finished a holy locket which is kind of a weird item but he finished it and his yules it's like useful it's going to shard which is good and he might even pick up like a maelstrom just to like have more like area wave clear like i think glypnir would have been like really good here right um bkb's Wind Ranger's BKB is going to be low. It's really good against PL. Your hero kind of likes to build that item if you can get away with it. Like, you're doing all this split pushing anyways, so, like, just go Glypnir, dude. Um, you know, have a, have a high impact in fights. Like, is this Holy Lock at Yule's really going to give you a high impact in fights at this stage? I don't think so. So, this Night Stalker picked up a Sanj? 
Okay, dude, I like your build, and you're just going off the rails. You just gotta buy a BKB, man. Like, I don't know what this song is for. What is going on here? Nice kill, I guess? But yeah, you just need a BKB, dude. If you don't see that, I would direct you to that last fight that you died at and needed a BKB at. And would suggest that the same is going to happen in future fights if you don't have a BKB. Okay, so Troll's pretty much got Basher if he wants to buy it. Uh, let's check in on the Radiant Squad. So Lich went Mech for Staff. Uh, I like that a lot, actually. Um, just sustain and like getting away from this like Night Stalker or Troll or whatever. Really nice utility. This is really nice uh, space making from. Uh... Oh, that was a nice idea. Really nice space making in the side lanes from Dire. Like, this is what you want to do on Hoodwink and Monkey King. I like these items on Lich a lot. It's good. Bloodseeker has gone for the BKB and has the Halberd, so this is looking pretty good. And he's going into this Gleipnir, which I don't hate it. Um, kind of the Maelstrom will like give your, yourself a damage amp. And really like what the Dyer's doing here, right? You're pushing, you're strong in this lane, and the Dyer's just saying like, hey, we're gonna like cut two of your waves, so if you wanna take that tower, you're gonna like get pressured on two of your towers. And this splits them up. Uh, is Monkey gonna die here? Nice BKB TP. They have nothing to stop BKB TP except for insane damage from Windwinter. Holy crap with the MKB. So now they're split up and Peel's dying, right? What's happening? Peel's dying and they're split up. So this is really, really good play from Dyer. This is exactly how you want to play this. You split them up. You're as five. You're mistiming your uh, <laughs> Monkey Stun, but it doesn't matter. So really, really good play from the Dyer here. And if you're Radiant, you just have to decide what you're doing either way. Like you cannot TP back heroes and then keep going bottom. Absolutely cannot do that. Um, either decide to like TP back on heroes and back on the ones up here, or just say like, go ahead and take our tier twos while we take your racks. Uh, you just have to do one or the other and be on the same page. Um, so PL, oh wait, so we Tiny got Yule's four staff after blink. Yule's is really good against troll. I kind of like this. I like just the kite utility stuff. Uh, the Wind Waker is a very interesting idea. We'll see how it goes. I don't know like what else you would need, so I don't hate this. Um, should we get something else? What's happening? Oh, they found a Bloodseeker and stole his Stormcrafter. GG. Stealing tier 4 neutral item. Game's over. I'm calling it right now. Uh, really nice uh, uh, finding a pickoff there. That Bloodseeker should not have been farming like where he thought. Look at the vision that they had as well. Oh no, they didn't have vision. Sorry, these are like reading words. Or dire words, I mean. So. Sanj and Yasha was the idea from Night Stalker. Before this game ends, let's talk about Pale's items. Who went? Sanj and Yasha, which I think is good. He didn't get the Manta, which I said he didn't need. I still agree that he didn't need it. He's not dying because he doesn't have a Manta. Um, Heart is good. Basher? Basher, I don't like. I like that he has the shard. I think he just needs a Scotty. Um, so they got the racks and got out. I do like that. Well played. Is Hoodwink here? Where is Hoodwink? Oh, gets the TP out. Showing off that he has the, uh, the Stormcrafter of the Radiant. Even in his own base. He's like, ah, look at me. I know that's exactly what he's saying. Um, so Grim is going Aether into Ags. I don't think this is good, Rue. Um... The inks, well, the shard was really good. Aether lens is like kind of okay, but like you just need a way to not die to this like Bloodseeker or Tiny getting on top of you. Um, you need a Glimmer, you need a Force Staff. This Ags is not particularly good against any of their heroes. Like the Ags is really good if they have like a right clicker who's just like there and like hit stuff like a TB or like a Wraith King or like the Medusas, like a PL with all the illusions. I don't think this Ags is that good. Um. It's also really good if you're like taking like auras or something. Like you're not taking any auras from your team. You wouldn't use it on anybody other than PL. Like using it on Wind Ranger doesn't make any sense. Like without like her dark portrait doesn't get the ult. So I just don't think this Ags makes sense. And I think like if you just get caught, you just die. So like you're lucky this isn't you here because you'd just be dead. Um, like even like Aeon Disc. Um, 
But, you know, they didn't find you and you're not dying, so it's working out. This is a good attempt, I think, from Radiant. But, sadly, they're pretty far behind and their lineup, I think, is a little bit of a disadvantage just because they early picked this PL and they just have answers to the PL. Let's see if you're getting to give him the runaround, but they will track him down. So this is pretty much going to be GG. Um, and it is, don't don't be fooled, it is because they got this Stormcrafter from the Radiant. That's why they're winning this game now. Whatever reasons I was talking about before don't matter. It's the Stormcrafter. This guy got a BKB queued up now? No, where's his gold? Oh, he bought a Basher. He bought a Basher. <laughs> Look, at he's not using the Morbid Mask. Why did you buy the Morbid Mask, dude? You have a shard. You're so confused. I think it's Basher, is that great? I mean, just buy the PKP, man. They're so greedy. Okay, so they buy back on three heroes. Two cores, one support. The tenth of the toss back. So does Dyer, like, do a fake back here? They almost have their ults. I think he just, I saw him, like, just ping his ult. He's like, guys, like, wait around. I ult them. They die before Bloodseeker's here. It's real PL. Misses his stun again. Zamo, you fool. Huge AoE, very nice. Unfortunately, nobody's actually in it. Where the Wind Ranger end up? Oh, he's like over here in the corner. And yeah, this Wind Ranger's not finding the space to like go on anybody. Um, maybe you needed a blink to like find your target? Like BKB into like blink? The MTV is nice to give you damage, but if you're not hitting anybody, then it doesn't matter. Um, I wasn't watching him the whole time though, so it's hard to see like what his opportunities were. This is gonna be the last defense. He's a 4v5. Well played from Troll. Um, it's I don't play Troll, but like a good Troll like sees their opportunities where they know they can blink BKB and literally just fold a zero a hero. Um, okay, he does die now though. Gets dragged out of position with the Wind Ranger Gale. They do get the rack, so it's not all bad. Grim two piece out, that's very nice. Oh, this Lich walked out just a little too far. I do think they should get out now. That was a nice little like opportunity they had there to do that. I like how they took advantage of it. Um, but I don't think that like, I think you get out now. Oh, they're going for this peel. Why? Do you have ult on him? You don't even have ult. Like you just don't have the damage for this. Yeah, you just don't have the damage for that. That was ridiculously dumb. Um, if that's like another hero other than PL, like sure, you have the damage for it. I think it's Abyssal. Uh, but you just don't have the damage to kill that PL and you just need to realize that. I don't know what that nice Darkfist thing can do. Casually bragging that he has the enemy Stormcrafter again. Um, so I would have really liked it if Monkey or Hoodwink had ended up top and like cut this wave, right? You've got Mega Super Creeps mid, Super Creeps bottom. And this wave, granted, is pushed way in right now, but if you're just like here pushing it more in, then it makes them feel really weird about Roshan. Notice how they already have two heroes back there. They're not taking this, they weren't, this Roshan attempt is very uncoordinated. Uh, you can't just walk in there. They didn't lose the PL, which is good. He's gonna go back in. Oh, he's gonna send Illusions back in. But look at his team. His team's all at his base, getting their creeps pushed in. They're not wave clearing very well. I don't know what's going on on their team, but like nobody's like. Got a wave clear, man. Tiny is like go nuke down a wave or something. And his Bloodseeker needs to be at the Roche Pit faster. So they're just gonna give this Roche up without the Night Stalker. Well, this will make it interesting, but I think they are still liable to like lose one fight in the game. They're just way, way down. Um, so they really need to like get their lanes out and then go for like some sort of coordinated smoke play and find this Grim. This Grim is the weak link. His items, uh, no offense, Rue, but you just die if anybody sneezes at you. And for some reason, they're just like not finding you and ignoring you. Like imagine this Wind Ranger had a blink and just like blink on this Grim stroke and be beat and hold them down. Like he just dies every fight over and over. And then they don't have a Grim, you know? And then you kite it out and do the same thing with Hoodwink or something. And meanwhile, PL is just like throwing lances and kind of chilling. Ideally, with Scotty, you don't have a Scotty. Yeah, because, like, Abyssal, Abyssal says, and, like, Basher says, I want to, like, stand, I want to, like, run in and hit you back and fight you. And against Troll and Monkey, that's not what you want to do. It's just not how you want to play PL in that situation. 
you have to recognize you're not in a good PL game and don't play like you can just run in because like you really can't like let your tiny blink in and like let your land a shackle right get an atos Q from far away um slow with your scotty that you i'm suggesting you buy and you know play the fights from far so you got the sh agonims from roche i guess this is an interesting ability i saw somebody buy it i think in like a replay i was watching i don't think it's one of my own games maybe it was it wasn't on my team but the guy had a shard and like you create a bunch of illusions it's like kind of nice but against when you're hard countered it like doesn't really matter Assuming that this was the Roshan Blessing. Uh, well, you don't give the Bloodseeker, because lol. Um, Lich could have been pretty good. Tiny is pretty trash. Wind Ranger would have been better. I think Wind Ranger would have been best. Give him some more utility. Maybe you should have given the Axe to Wind Ranger. I just don't think this is that good on PL, given that it's not a good PL game. Like, it's like a good PL game, and they can't clear your illusions, and it's like super good. But like they have a troll with... Battle Fury and a monkey with Mjolnir and like Grim and like Hoodwink. Which still is not getting an Atos or Glypnir, which I'm sad about, but I mean, you just clear your illusions, so like spawning 10 more instantly doesn't matter because you just clear them, you know? Like when you're an illusion hero and the enemy team counters illusions, you can't play around the fact that you're an illusion hero. Uh, running here with your main hero is kind of crazy, but I guess you're like kind of baiting this? It's really hard to bait this with no vision though. Um, like they know Hoodwing's bottom, but they have no other vision. And yeah, you, you want to try and make a play right now uh, while you have Aegis, because if the Dire team's smart, they're just going to wait your Aegis out while you're stuck in your base, keeping the waves in. And then once your Aegis is out, then they just run you down and kill you. So Abyssal coming out from the Troll Warlord. He's got the MKB2, so this guy does a jillion damage. I think like a Satanic or something could be good. But the way he's playing, he hasn't really needed it. He's like killing somebody and then they like crush the fight, or he kills somebody and he dies, and like Satanic wouldn't have saved him anyways, so. So Night Talker's going in the strength blink, it looks like. Refusing to buy a BKB. Laughing at me saying buy a BKB against Wind Ranger, Lich, Tiny. Bloodseeker with Atos. It's like, nah, dude. I don't need that shit. Octarine on the Hoodwink. Okay, now he's got the Glyphner queued up. Finally! Occurred to him that it's a good idea. Octarine on a position 4 like this, I just don't think is value enough to, like, justify it. Um, <laughs> that was a nice dodge on the tiny stuff. Oh, that was a secondary dodge with the Yules. What a troll. Um... I mean, Glidemere doesn't save you there either, but, like, we're not talking about saving you there. I just think it's just too greedy for position 4. Like, you don't get enough value out of the cooldown reduction on your position 4 spells to, like, justify this over something else. Um, like, there's almost always something better. It's a very weird item build. Like, I'd post this on Reddit. <laughs> so weird, dude. This is the weirdest item build ever. Uh, Satanic. Satanic, not... Strength Blink. I think Strength Blink would have been sick because they have a PL, right? Illusion Clear. Just buy into the Illusion Clear. But it's whatever. Um, or you buy Wraith Pact. Buy Wraith Pact on Hoodwink, you know. Rude buying a defensive item next? It's got 2k gold. I guess if you just save for buyback, you don't need a defensive item, you know? Um, this game is going late, so... I don't know what Dyer's doing. Maybe they don't have the Roche Timer, but you should, like, recognize that you got the Roche timer. I mean, I guess Hoodwing died, but I don't really know what they're talking about. Like, but hopefully they just, like, when Hoodwink responds, I think it's fine they're playing careful right now, they don't see anything in all their lanes. Nobody's showing the lanes. And, like, we see them smoking. It's like a delayed smoke, though. So it's like they think they're safe now, and this Night Sucker's like, oh, it's been long enough, now I can come out. But it's like delayed smoke, they're actually not gonna find him. Wow, they almost did, though. And neither will ever know. Unless you watch this cast. In which case you would know. Interesting scan timing, but okay. So now the hook wings up, I really just think they need to rock. This TP is nuts. 
You're just TPing this mid lane with no vision when you just thought they were smoking? It's crazy, dude. So now I just hope they walk down top as five heroes. And like, I literally don't think anything can stop them. Oh, this guy cannot be here. Where'd he go? Oh, that was a sick trickster cloak. Holy moly, what a juke. Oh no, they're fighting the field instead though. Nice stalker vision, two busted. Good troll ults. Get a buyback. Yeah, he does. He's gonna have to use it, but that's not how you want your fight to start. Oh no, I'm just getting caught too. Ooh, that was nice. Okay, so this nice is gonna die. That is not what you want as a nice hugger. Okay, but Tiny dies as well. It, like, walks into the monkey ult. No buyback on this Night Stalker. Do they force it anyways with Gale buying back and no Night Stalker? I guess you use the monkey ult so you can't, like, zone away. So they're just calling to wait for the next Roche, which is still going to be a minute or two or four. Um, if you can get Vision up here and then play on the Vision, you should. Um... They don't have another ward. This ward, they put it down like before, but it'd be nicer if they had it and it was like, you know, it, it was here. And then you just play around it and you cut top mid, kind of cuts itself. You can cut mid if you want and dare them to like walk up this hill. Like retreating back to the Roshan is not terrible, but like to, to be defensively around Roshan, I just don't think you need to. But I guess if you don't have the ward, you can't play around a ward you don't have. Um, so Hooping's doing this like cutting mid stuff, which is good. But yeah, if you're just sitting your triangle, like they don't know. They don't see anything in this triangle. So if you're just playing this triangle, this guy just dies. 100% he just dies. And you guys aren't killing him because you're not playing the right part of the map. Because um, if you had all four just been here and made sure they didn't have vision. like I'm assuming you have a lot of sentries. Maybe you don't. Are they out of stock? Who's got all these sentries? Hooping just bought some and Grim has some. I mean, you just ward up there, you just ward the crap out of the triangle, and then you play around that. It's like what you should have done. Okay, so this was about to despawn. They're waiting for Roche. Like I said, it's a long time. This is good vision. Let's ward down so that like, this, this gives them a like good idea of like where they can push out to safely. But that's a nice ward that they'd gotten down while we were, they were there earlier. Hoodwink over here, like, doing this is okay, but, like, it really doesn't matter because it's pushing in so much anyways. And, like, the fight starts breaking out of Roshan, I guess you have bots so you can be there. I just think doing this exact same thing top is just more effective because it's a lane that's not going to push itself out. Uh, but Troll's clearing it. It's good. Um, if I was Troll, I'd keep going. Just, like, another wave. Like, don't, like, walk down, like, through their tier 2, but, like, clear this way for sure. Okay, he's trying. And now I've rejoined your team. Pretty quick. So, yeah, they're taking this slow, but assuming they get this next Roche, I don't really see how Radiant's going to set themselves up to contest this. Their ward doesn't even see the Roshan area. Like, this is a nice ward that they had gotten down, but, like, it doesn't even see out here, which it kind of needs to, if you care about contesting it at all. If they're just accepting that they're not going to get it. Oh, that was really scary as PL. I mean, if they just smoked... I feel like you just group and smoke as five too. Like you kind of see them as radiant, like or as dire. I mean, their vision, they're showing. Look at these. You see the split, and if you were like on top of it, you'd just be ready to like punish this. And instead, you're not. Troll spoke with a grim. Like, where's your night stalker? You know. Oh, oh, you're getting them. Use your own abyssal. Use your own abyssal. There you go. Oh, that's a really nice deal force. Oh, wait, what is happening? Peel's getting away! Wow, Peel got away, but Wind Ranger died. Wow, it's like really hard to watch when I can't like easily just scroll around to see what's going on. So, you got two kills and two buybacks. Do you go back to do the rush? I feel like you should, right? There's no reason not to. Very nice D ward, super clutch. Makes it basically impossible for them to contest now. They might try anyways with a smoke. Do you desperado smoke here? Where's the smoke? No. Oh, there's a smoke. Okay, they're trying. They're trying. 
Okay, Surf dies super fast though. Troll gets the uh, Aegis, and this is pretty much a done deal. We're gonna go in anyways and make an attempt. I think it's fine. The same fight happens with their base with Monkey King like giant ulti ringing their uh, their barracks. So I think it's I bad they went for this. They're in a pretty crap spot anyways. Again, they never found this Grim. Like, this Grim went no defensive items and just has not died in, like, forever. <laughs> Maybe, Blue, your positioning was just godlike. It was just godlike positioning. We should all take notes from Rue's positioning this game. Uh, GG's. Um, I targeted not need a BKB. Oh, that's just hard. You just can't early pick PL like that and expect it to like go super well. I mean, you didn't do yourself any favors like early game, dying twice after you got defusal, but... Um, you know, you're gonna second pick PL. They're just gonna pick here as a counter PL, you know? Or like, th it was the third pick. Like, Dyer picked one hero and they picked two heroes on Radiant and like one of them was PL. So they had four heroes to, like counter. Or maybe they had picked... Maybe you've seen Hoodwink and Night Stalker, and then you pick the PL. But they have three heroes to counter. Hoodwink's already like, eh. Can't really choose to Hoodwink that well. But uh, GG's. Good games. Um, that's the stream, folks. Come back next week.